Before we begin, I just wanted to say that I've got my commissions open, so if anybody wants to commission me to make, I don't know, anything that your hearts desire, then give me a little message and I will check that out and maybe we can, you know, exchange deets and I can make something for you. You. Also, I need to mention this because I guess to help me keep creating stuff like this i have a patreon so if you would like to check that out i would really appreciate the support as little as one dollar a month which is not even a coffee so i mean it's like a sip of a coffee right right guys mm -hmm. okay can you hear me Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average Artist. I've got a bit of a confession to make. I am a squishy connoisseur. But I love them and I thought it would be fun to make a video where these squishies, randomly selected, <laughs> inspire me to create some artwork. So let's get started. First squishy up is this lovely pumpkin, pumpkin. guy. I got this from kind of a cheapy shop, so the packaging is not great, but I love the little designs on it. It would be cool to maybe incorporate something like that into the style, but I think what I want to do today, because I miss drawing some girls, is that I'm going to draw some pin up -y type characters and going to have fun with it. So let's go. Um, this is the first one, pineapple. Okay, so we've got this squishy and it's super satisfying. It's got some nice colors to it, which will be good. Like a nice green gradient here to yellow. So I'm gonna put this here. Okay, voiceover time. I know this is a bit of a silly, weird project, but it's sort of inspired by Casey's Tokyo Treat box thing where she takes a treat and then she draws a character out of it. I thought it'd be fun to do it with squishies because as I said I like squishies and I think other people do so why not have fun with these toys and make something useful out of them instead of just squeezing them for stress. I started off by doing some sketches and then I decided on this pose and I just sketched out a quick girl maybe she's sort of by the poolside and she's wearing like a small dress or swimming costume but I used the micron pens because I was gonna watercolor these in my sketchbook because I like the way that the watercolor reacts to the paper in my sketchbook it leaves like a really nice textured kind of color so I thought this girl is just like I don't know relaxing by a lake maybe or something she's in the Sun because it's blooming hot right now I don't know if it's hot where you are but it's definitely hot here I thought the best thing about this project was that I could use the colors of the items the items of the squishies and really have fun and play with those because this pineapple yes pineapple has a great gradient thing on it and I just really like that um I was really like oh I'm definitely gonna give her like ombre hair from dark green to sort of yellowy color and it was really fun to do because I just like doing that it looks cute and I haven't drawn girls in a while I know that sounds a bit weird but I really enjoy drawing like female characters so I took a break from my horror comic if you don't know what my horror comic is I'm working on a horror comic shocker and I'm vlogging the whole process from beginning to end so you can go check those out they're on my channel but anyway I decided to give her kind of tan skin because I think she would be out in the sunshine she's a pineapple and I think pineapple is a summer fruit if I'm not mistaken ah, and I made a mistake here so ugh. I colored out some of the lines but it's really good to have a squishy around because you can just squeeze out the stress so I think I'm just gonna always have squishies just near me that's right everyone get your squishies put them near you when you're stressed out and squeeze them it's it's done so yeah, just normal kind of watercolors here, going in with some details on the dress or swimming costume. I haven't quite decided what she's wearing, but it could be either or. It can be entirely up to you guys. So I wanted to do that kind of pumpkin, pumpkin. pattern. And I really like the way that she turned out. I especially like that she looks a little bit burnt and rosy and I just I think it's really cute and I'm really glad that I decided to do this project because I was kind of umming and ahhing about it thinking it was a bit too silly but it gave me some good inspiration for this painting. 
she's just hanging out on the beach wearing a tiara for some reason and then I went in with some coloured pencils just to give a bit of more texture and stuff and more definition to some of the paint where it was a bit weaker than I thought it was going to be. I wanted to go in with some Posca but it didn't really work so I kind of gave up on that quite quickly. But here's the finished girl and I thought she was super cute but I guess we're going to go on to the next one now. Next up on our randomly selected squishy is this coffee mug and again it's from the same sort of cheapy shop so it has this bad packaging but whatever and this one is so cute I mean it's a bit messed up around the sides but I really like this one because it has like this little pink straw and then cream on top chocolateiness I think another thing that I like what I played with with the pineapple one is the color scheme. So this will be fun to play around with. Coffee. Let's go. Voiceover is back and it's better than ever. Um, it's not. Um, mm. Anyway, I did a little sketch and I kind of didn't film the process of that. I don't know why. I think I just wanted to get going with it. But I wanted to give this girl sort of fluffy hair as like the cream on top and then have her surrounded in like a puddle of coffee as if she's sort of like a coffee witch or something so the straw in her hand is like her magic wand or staff whatever you prefer to call it and i wanted to play around with the colors as well on the coffee squishy and give her skin that same kind of blue tone that the squishy has and i thought that was really fun and i really like the way that she turns out but you will see that in a moment so she's just hanging around, you know, magicking herself some coffee to ride around the city on. And yeah, I think I like this girl a lot more, probably because she has a better story than the other girl, the pineapple one, who is just, you know, swimming around by the pool. This this girl's out and about. She's got coffee witching stuff to do, and she's giving free coffee to all the, the poor students. I don't know. She's a good witch, so she's caffeinating everybody who needs it for free. So she can magic out coffee. Yep, mm -hmm. that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. It was just fun to draw this. I think these drawings were really refreshing because I haven't just sat down and drawn whatever in a while because of the horror comic. I've kind of been focusing on concepts for that and drawing pages for that. So this was fun to just sit and do something a little bit different, just doodle out some characters. And I really enjoyed this process and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. <laughs> don't think that it's too much of a silly idea because I really like it and I'm probably gonna do some more next week depending on your reaction to be honest because if you guys hate it then I probably won't do it again because that's just gonna be you know a waste of time maybe I just do it for myself in private yep yeah, this is the final coffee girl and I really like the way she turned out and the final p -p 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 pineapple one so these were the final designs. Let me know what you thought, guys. Did you enjoy seeing what I came up with with these squishies? I know it's a bit of a silly random video, but I really liked it. And I'm probably gonna do a couple more with the squishies that I have, because I have a few more to show you guys. Please like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Next time. Next time? Yeah. Before we go, I'd just like to say thank you to my patrons, Cecile, James, Lee and Steph, Megan, Tom and Tim. These guys are kind of top tier rewardies and if you would like to get a shout out at the end of my video then go check my Patreon out.